Hi guys. <laughs> I I hey everybody. Oh. Wow, Mr. <laughs> um okay. Uh we are doing a little bit different than on the menu. So if it doesn't like if you guys were looking forward to that, um it ain't gonna be that. But let me explain. It ain't happening. <laughs> but it's for a good reason. Um I thought we still had bacon in the freezer and I guess I took it out the other day. So we didn't, we're not making the bacon, um, the, there's what do no, they call it? There's no bacon, huh? <laughs> it was my fault. I told him we had uh, it. We um, were making, uh, we are doing, we were going to do potatoes. We're right? going to do potato skins, but since we're not doing potato skins, we are instead doing uh, these egg rolls, bite-sized tostadas, and um come on now and uh oh joe's gonna make it's it's a uh, i'll let him tell you it's a copycat early yeah, yeah so we're, we're we're not gonna uh since it's uh super bowl sunday we're gonna uh forego our our uh copycat tuesday and we're gonna make a copycat uh um uh, little little surprise yeah yeah, yeah. okay okay let me tell you what it is we're gonna make uh -huh. um frito-lays bean dip but it tastes identical That's to pretty, the bean dip. Pretty close. I mean, it's the bomb. So right now we're gonna make uh, egg rolls, like homemade egg rolls. Um, my daughter-in-law's uh, Asian, so we're kind of blessed to have that in the family. She actually makes two versions of them. But um, our first one we're gonna do, or to the one we're doing today, is a cabbage-filled one, and then there's also a different one that has uh, rice noodles in them. So this one has... Oh, here we go. This one is... Got ridge carrots. So what I'm gonna put in the pan first and foremost is maybe I'm gonna put that lower. Oh yes, yeah, sir. I'm all in my in your zone. In my little world here. I'm all so right. sorry. So in the pan, I'm putting some garlic in, and I am putting some cebolla. I'm gonna teach you guys Spanish while we're here. I'm putting cebolla. That's onion. Okay, I don't know how to say carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I was like ready to do it, and then I look at it, I'm like, oh shoot, I don't know how to say it. Onion and, oh, let me get you guys closer. Hey. I'll get it, you go, you do your thing, I'll get you closer. I don't want you closer. Just let me handle it. <laughs> what did you say? Let me handle it? Gotta do the, the two finger thing, there we go. All right, okay. That's too close, damn it. No, 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 that's okay. I can show them. That is our cabbage. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not cabbage. Huh? This is our garlic and our onion. And what I'm, and this is just ground pork. How do you just say cabbage in Spanish? Ground, I don't know. I shouldn't have told you I was going to start doing it. This is our ground pork. Just, it doesn't, it's not Italian. It's not breakfast sausage. It's ground pork. Because we, oh, you, you can, we've also done. Um, chicken. Joe's made chicken or spinach when we've done, um, not spinach, shrimp. When we've done, um, different flavored, uh, egg rolls, he said, hey, why not? We have this. You want to try it? We literally got just thigh meat and Joe, like, minced it up, like, with the knife, like, just, like, went like this over and over and over and, like, got it so tiny that it was, we couldn't even tell, right, babe? Yeah. Looks like we put it in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would love to get that one day. It's like, what's that thing called? Um, a meat, a meat Ten, uh, grinder. I was like, what? This lady said oh, she ground her the, own the, meat. Put it on the KitchenAid thingy. Yeah, I get you, Willis. Oh, yeah. Am I doing all of it, baby? Apparently so. <laughs> I mean, am I asking? Are we making that many uh, egg rolls? No, no, not really. Really? Uh, what are we gonna do? I don't know. We're gonna have I'll to take freeze them. them. We'll have to freeze them. Take them oh, we have all those egg roll wrappers. All right. Well, okay, guys. Take some out. Take some out. Let's we'll, show we'll... them the egg roll wrappers. All right. This is what we went through high and low for you guys today. These things right here. We seek those. Holy moly! They're not because they have egg rolls. Oh yeah. Have, oh yeah. Sorry about that, people. Um, they have egg rolls, and. But they're the they're egg rolls. They're not spring roll wrappers, so they're they're different. These are a little bit smoother and they're thinner uh, when you uh, fry them up. The, here's the egg roll skins. But we and didn't. I don't know. Those are got, too thick for us. We, uh, we're yeah. not we're not a fan of them. They're good. Yeah, but they are we're, good. These are. We like our egg rolls crispy. made with these. Yeah, they're really crispy. The other ones are, turn out a little bit 
Uh, they're, they're crispy on the outside, but they're kind of, it's like they, they don't get cooked enough on the inside. Every yeah, time. that's... For, for me, any, every time. They're just a, a thicker, a thicker wrap. Yeah. So when you bite into it, it's just a thicker hard. This is really flaky when you bite into that one. Yeah. These cost a... $5.98. Oh the God. other ones are only $2.99. See? They take advantage of people that they know. They, do. they want the good ones. They do. But All they're right. also called, uh, what are they called? Lumpas? Well, last night appetizers. Yes, it was. Last night appetizers were, what did we do last night? Last night we did, we did uh, Southwestern egg rolls. Yep, with uh, avocado ranch. Yep. And then we did stuffed mushroom. Stuffed mushroom uh, bells or stuffed mushroom tops. Yeah. And then we also did flautas. Flautas, yeah, chicken flautas. And the reason why we're doing we we wanted on Monday or Tuesday, we're like, oh my god, Sunday is the Super Bowl. So we're like, okay, we're doing this tomorrow. We hey, had it all in. set up. Hey mom's in. Hey mom. But then um, I don't know. We just lost track of our thoughts, and we started making like picadillo. We started making uh, the meals like patty melts and stuff like that and we we're like oh no and honestly we could have just done one appetizer tonight last night and one tonight but honestly I, we wanted to show you guys more than one we love we watch football we watch basketball we watch almost every sport and so my family is huge with football uh super bowls tomorrow so we would be giving doing football a disservice by only offering you guys so back it up just a little bit uh, one appetizer because i mean it's like going through a magazine or on pinterest and you're kind of scoping around which one you want to use i mean imagine if you opened it and you only saw one appetizer you'd be like oh okay i mean i guess i'm gonna make that one but at least we're giving you guys six different options and yeah. it allows you the ability to yeah we're, we're kind of tag teaming it to, to make sure we get a few in there yeah just in case anybody wants to make any of these yes yes and oyster stuffing and oh, you use oyster sauce. yep i'm going to add the cabbage after the oyster sauce or do you put it in there right before no you put it in there when it's cooking okay once your meat has got it's oops it's it? okay guys this is your onion and your onion and your garlic and your pork sausage. Okay? We are gonna now use oyster sauce. Yep. Right? Oyster sauce and put a tablespoon in there, something like that. That's all. You don't want too much because it's really sweet. Feel it. If your heart here, says right here, more, right then put this? more. Whatever your heart says, y'all. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't like it too sweet, and then but I, tablespoon i would say start with a tablespoon and then um maybe the next time you can we do that all the time we'll go yeah i, I think i should have put a little more ginger we analyze our own food all the time when we go out to dinner at restaurants we'll go out we'll we love going and we're getting um uh clam strips or oysters um, and our daughter does too yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we will kind of go, yeah, I think they should have soaked it. We had really great ones at uh, the Chop House. Amazing uh, calamari. Well, that was at Ruth Chris's. Put it all the way low. Are you sure? Yeah, that was the good. That was really good Ruth at Ruth Chris's. Chris. Yeah. Inside of the Amway? In, yep. In Grand um, Rapids, Michigan. So we are very, like, we'll eat it, and then we're with our daughter, and we're like, what do you think? And she, I mean, we all sit and analyze the food as to and this is um two full uh carrot stamps i don't know what they're called carrot sticks yeah really that's carrots. what they're called carrots just carrots okay um but we and it, i think we think that they buttermilk them and they just had such a phenomenal flavor so our family is just very like uh, food connoisseurs. Me and Joe kind of did a little bit of traveling, so we actually have tried um, a lot of food in different areas. So, which actually is like a double-edged sword because then you try it, and then you see places that say we have the best onion rings, like this place in Texas, got us all excited, <laughs> and we were like, oh my God, let's stop, Joe, let's stop. 
And then I'm putting right here is ginger. So that's ginger. Here's my onion and then carrots. And I do the carrots a little bit at a time just based on sight. It can, it, I mean, you can throw it all in at once. I choose to do it like this because I want to know. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Kelly. Um, ginger's, Joe's not a big fan of a lot of ginger. Bleh, ginger. So I will start a little bit. And grab yourself some forks or spoons next to you. And then just play, literally stick your fork or your spoon in it over and over and over to get the feel. Do I want more salt? Remember, that oyster sauce as well as soy sauce is going to be salty. So you don't want to add so much. Um, I, I didn't even add any salt at all as of now. I've only done onion and garlic and to fry the meat in. Then I added the carrots and cabbage and ginger. And then I added oyster sauce. And I will probably put a little bit of Soy sauce, but I'm not uh, you, sure. You could, uh, you could actually, if you if you don't want to get a cabbage, a whole cabbage, if you're not going to use it all, yep. you can get the bag of uh, coleslaw. Uh, coleslaw mix. Yep. And it's just, you know, the cabbage and carrots, and that's about it. Yep. And you guys, when we were on Cato, we did this in a bowl. And we didn't put it in a wrapper. Yeah. It was called an stuff. egg roll bowl. And it is almost zero carbs in it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Make sure it didn't have any sauce on it. Then I had oyster sauce. Oh, no, it's this one. Okay, yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Sweet. I'm going to let this cool off. And okay. while, because uh, if you put this hot stuff into our wrapper right now, then your wrapper, you, you probably could. It, I would cool off a little. You just don't want it to start, like, softening your shell, the wrapper. Yeah, because it will easy, rip yeah. very easily when you're trying to fold it up. Because these things are really thin. So I am going to set this aside. I'll put some, a little bit of salt in it. It's really it kind of sweet. Yeah. Kind of with that cabbage sweetens okay. it up even more, and the carrots too. Everything's kind of sweet. Okay. So. And then I put ginger, onion. So the only spice I put was garlic, fresh, ginger, fresh, and then salt. Garlic. Okay. I'm going to put this over there, and then I'm going to finish doing the meat. So those both will be done. Okay. So this is just I just browned my beef. Like you got some ground beef, and I put it in a pan with. What is it? That? that doesn't go with this. That's nope, for I'm just different. finishing oh. those. Okay. So this is just uh, hamburger meat that's browned. You didn't tell them what we're doing. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna try to get everything that needs to be fried at the same point. So this egg rolls different are gonna dish. different dish. The egg rolls mixture is going to get put in egg roll wrappers and then fried. So since that's the only thing that needs to be done over there, I'm going to finish doing the meat that's going to go on our bite-sized tostadas. That's this. So I've got the meat browned. It's just exactly salt, pepper, garlic. The things we Mexicans use a lot of the same salt, pepper, garlic, okay? And then you'll see once we once we go to the next step, we'll show you. This is the meat. This is gonna go on the. Where are <laughs> Lots of onions. Is there? No, no, no. She, uh, Kelly, under no. the chandelier, says I need all the onions. Yeah. So here is your meat. Here's your carne. Or do you want to finish the egg roll and then wrap them right now? I just thought you wanted to wait till we fry oh, everything. Oh, no, no. Just go ahead. Okay. I just wanted you to make sure that it's, it's for a different yep. dish. Because well, they were confused see. last time with yeah. the sausage and they'll stuff. They'll see. Well, one's got yeah. the cabbage in it. Yeah. This is, just know that we're the people that are coming in late are... Uh, this is ground beef. Like browned it. We browned the ground beef. Okay, guys? Browned ground beef. There's nothing in it but salt, pepper, garlic. Powder or fresh. Doesn't matter. Okay, guys? Then we're getting the flour. Let me take care of that. This stuff. What's that? Yes, please. All right. You don't need any more garlic either, do you? I'm trying to think if I want to put uh, the, all that in that one. I just don't know if I want that much. All right. Gravied. And the only reason I'm putting a little bit of gravy in my ground beef is because it's, I make my tostadas like that in real life. I'll make 
my tostada shell, spread my beans on it, and then I put my carne. I'll show you it. Why don't you show them, dear? <laughs> I'll show you it. Okay. Let me put this away. We're only going to use about a tablespoon. One tablespoon of flour. And it's going to go in. Why is this thing so low? Is that it? Oh. oh. I can't believe it got that cold that fast. It got cold? Wow. Well, I mean, it's not even sizzling. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Flour. And then I'm going to add... It had an RV um, moment. It was hissing. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was doing its hissing thing. So I had to... I didn't know where you had it, I guess. This is for the egg rolls or the tostadas? The, those are for the tostadas. For broiling. Oh, do you have the little thing for the... Oh, look at yeah, you! It's all good, man. Okay. All good in the neighborhood. This yeah. is fried, and you guys can see that there's a little bit of oil in it. We want that oil. That oil is your friend. Because that is where we're going to put our flour in. And make our roux. And basically. that is going to be... Right in it. Yeah. I hate to bring it so close, but then I don't want to... Okay, lift the whole neck up Yeah, I got you. There we go. There okay. is. Is that focusing it? I don't think it is. Hey, Jilly. Jilly in here, I thought. Uh, they say we love you, Jilly. So, yeah, she is in here. Mama and Papa Bear, she says. Hey, babe. Some of my girls are having a, uh, enjoying their weekend off. So I'm working with some off. My girls have really helped me a lot. I had a kind of a rough day today. Um, one of my girlfriends gave me a good idea and I wish I, I would have thought about this sooner. But today was my dad's birthday and I would have, I should have thought about it, making something that he liked today for, uh, for him. And I didn't even think about that. It, so... I want to thank you very much because that was a great idea. I, I definitely can do that when my brother's Here's birthday comes up. Because I do have my brother's birthday and anniversary coming up too. So you took some of the oil out? Oh, I, you know what? I don't, I, this is what I do. I play it safe. I take a little bit out to see if I need as much because it's easier to add some in. So I took out this much and I have it like they this. See it. I have it like this. And I have this much set aside. I can add more in, but if I leave it all in, then, and I put the flour in and it's too oily, I can't take it out. So I am first going to see if this works. Here's my flour. And I'm going to sprinkle, can you guys see? I'm sprinkling it from once, they got it, they got it. Okay. From left to right, all over the right, oh, what is it called? Right. <laughs> the uh, hamburger meat. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done sprinkling it on. They can see it pretty good. I can I can zoom in go. for you. Yep. I'm a good zoomer. Mm -hmm. See, I'm covering all of my meat. And you can even use beef broth. I'm going to use just water, y'all. I'm okay with just water. I don't, again, I don't like to put all the extra sodium or the extra preservatives. So what consists, how, how do they know if they need more oil? It, I'm showing them. Oh, This okay. is what it should look like. Like it should look here. like a dry, a, because you put flour in it, and yeah. if, if it... Oh, it should, like, soak up all the oil and be dry? Yeah, what you can do... Uh, yeah, dry, I guess. And, and you, yeah, you want it dry. Wow, babe, it makes them awful. Yeah, I guess I want it dry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Not a problem, actually. So it's going to look a crumbly. There you go. There's crumbly. your flour in it. Okay, guys? Uh, do you have a, what, give me that mama bear? Yes. This is from my son. Mama bear. Because he calls me mama bear and calls Joe papa bear. <laughs> I try to be a good cooking buddy. <laughs> he does help me a ton. Use my hands for me. See, there I go again. Well, Being you a gotta buddy. You that thing back in, daddy. What's that? That thing, you gotta plug that back in. What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, am I going to do over here or over there? No, the, you have to plug in the our water dispenser. Okay. Because it's not running oh. out hot water right oh. now. <laughs> I didn't know it was unplugged. I got you. So just make sure your flour gets all the raw flour. If it, that, 
flour tastes raw and you, you shouldn't eat raw flour anyways, but it has a funky flavor. So here I put the rice, I put the flour in. There you go, baby. Uh. See that? You can't even tell I put it, but we know we put it. And in a minute, we're going to see it. See that, guys? Woo, woo. Here we go. What do we got going on? Warm water. Okay? It should have come out. I thought it was taken out of the dispenser warm. It, you don't have to microwave yours. Mine just didn't come out warm. came out cool, cold. And we're using the area where we're where the, yeah, our where hot our water is. is so where our sink is. We don't want to... You guys watching? Oh, hold I'm on. I'm going to pour... Okay. Right. There you go. Let, let me pull it back a little bit. There you go. Right there. Just pouring it in and grab your spoon and you're going to start spinning it around. Almost, open that? almost covering it. What's that? You open a tomato sauce for me. Tomato sauce? Yep. Is it in here? Yeah, it's a little cap. A little uh, box or whatever? See that, guys? I'll bring it over to you. All right. So it's going to, and I'm going to put a little bit more because it's going to, I need all the flour that was on my meat to come off of it. I do my tostadas like this because I don't like meat crumbling off of my tostada when I take a bite. So I invented this way about 15 or 20 years ago. So this meat, you now are going to, when once Joe shows you the tortilla shells, we're, we're making homemade tortilla shells, you guys. The kind you put in your salsa. The kind when you go to a Mexican restaurant. We're making those today. I put... Put that out here, Racino. You spill. And you're on high heat, baby, aren't yep. you? I put about a tablespoon of tomato sauce. Yes, it makes the difference. It's this, the honest to God, once you have your tostada like this, you will always make it like this because it just keeps the beans and the meat, or you don't even have to put beans on it at this point. You can just put this on your tostada shell, your lettuce, tomato. But super good idea of making a gravy. Yeah, it's a thick gravy. It's not a runny gravy. Yeah. This is a super thick gravy. So you can spread, it, spread your beans yep. and you can spread your This is your, how you're going to spread it onto your, your little beef. shell. <laughs> Spread it out. All right. Lay it on there. You're gonna show them how to do the shells, and I'll back away. Okay. Um, I gotta get a. Are you gonna get the toaster? Where's my pan? In the oven? Yeah. Is it in the oven? Already? Oh, you're gonna show them how to cut it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get it cut first. I'll move it out of the way though. Um. All right. Look at what we got here. We have corn tortilla shells, corn tortillas that we get to in a package. Uh, do we have the package? Just uh, a Guerrero. Yeah, it's a Guerrero. But they're just. They're raw. They're raw. And here's the package. This is what we got. All right. So we just buy a package of those. What you want to do is just take them. And if you don't have a cutting board or whatever, just take a pair of shears, cooking shears or kitchen shears, and then uh, just cut them up, all right? And then we're going to fry them up and make our own little uh, fried tortilla fried. plates for our uh, tostadas. Instead of making a big round one, we're making individual ones, so you can just grab it off a platter. So there's those. And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna fry few, all these up. I have all these other ones cut up already. If you guys think you're gonna use them, um, like with you make homemade salsa because we showed you how to make salsa, you're now you're gonna fry those. These are exactly what they make, or this is exactly what they bring you in a bowl when you go to a Mexican restaurant. You guys are gonna make those right, right. now, right? right. You're just gonna pan and water. water. What? I was got some water still. Yeah. Don't want no water mixed with oil. Hot oil, that's for sure. All right, just put a little oil. What, how much do you think? How deep? Um, you gotta do the egg rolls too. Yeah. So we'll just pour it in. So, just some uh, corn oil, canola oil, whatever you got. Here. And put it about a uh, half an inch to uh, about a half an inch of oil in your pan. And 
and uh, get out every last drop. <laughs> is, that what it, is that what you handed me this for? Yes, I there am we go. I'm, in my, I'm in my own way here. All right, there we go. There we go. Mm, got it all. <laughs> all right. Now. I hate wasting it. It's so, crazy. Again, now are we going to use your method or are we going to use my method for cooking oil, for heating up oil? Is it just... How, um, how would you know when you're ready? Would you to... girls like to know a temperature? Would you guys like the Mexican way? The Mexican way, we put a wooden spoon in and it will bubble. Do you if guys want bubbles, to learn? Right? <laughs> if, it bubbles. if it bubbles, it's ready. If it doesn't bubble, it's not ready. But if you guys want to know the, the, the way to know properly... Then and Joe loves doing it properly. Yeah. All right, go ahead and get your no, thermometer. No, I'm not doing it. No. <laughs> We're gonna do it your way. I'm gonna have a bunch of Mexicans, a blonde Mexicans, yeah. running around. They're gonna be like, "This is what we do." <laughs> <laughs> so, same. So I think yeah, get a thermometer because you can't. Try, I have no try. idea how hot that is. It bothers me. Yeah, I know it I bothers me. You feel? It. You feel like if you don't know the temperature? No, it's just I'm gonna either. Soak them and they're going to be all oily. And it may not cook properly. Yeah, you know. or it's going to be too hot and they're going to get all like dark brown. Mm -hmm. I do like dark brown though. I like brown. Mm -hmm. Nice save. <laughs> but hey, whoa, still some water this? in there. You That's what this? happens if you have any amount of water in there you and your oil's getting hot. Or It'll start spark, uh, sparking, or not sparking, but popping and. And uh, put, ah! uh, there we go. Get, get a top, baby. Get it, just to put it on there. Oh, lid? Yeah, lid. I don't know how we got water in there, but I thought we got it all. It's going down. Yeah, just to, uh, yeah, just cover it up. Just cover it up. Just not so it's sealed at all too much. Just cover it so it uh, keeps anything that's splattering off you so you don't get burned. But uh, I'm just going to use a temperature probe. I just, question did we this is uh, uh, use this for uh, my brisket or uh, pulled pork to test, and it does great for uh, uh, monitoring our our oil temperature. So we just put the probe in there, and and a few people, uh, somebody asked last night how long we've been married. We've been married for twenty years. Um, there you go. Uh -oh. It's it's popping. It's getting up there real quick. Real fight Yeah. So real fast it might like. be. Just kidding. I'm going to turn the temperature down a little bit. It's at 307, 311, 315. It's going up. Yes, Marissa, it is. I mean, the worst combination. If you ever have a fire in the on the stove, do not put water to put it yeah, out. Yeah, no doubt. Grab a lid. Cover it up with a lid. Yep. If anything ever goes astray while you're cooking, grab a lid and cover it. It's your safest bet. Don't try to all get it. Right. Our water is all popped out of there, all cooked out. We're at about 345 right now, which is perfect. Well, uh, it's still climbing a little bit, but a little bit slower. So, uh, uh, the best oil to use, we, I, I personally like either, um, <clears throat> corn oil or vegetable oil. I think, what do you, baby? What's that? The only thing that Joe has a preference with when he makes his popcorn is coconut oil. Yeah, you gotta have coconut oil. So anyways, we're gonna just uh, start tossing these babies in there. We're at, uh, 352. We're gonna just take this probe out of the way for right now. Homemade tortilla shells, y'all. And then we're just going to throw them in. Or you want to zoom in for me, baby? Tortilla chips. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Coming in. Coming in hot. There we go. All right, ready? Homemade tortilla chips. There we go. Put it over there. And they're bubbling up nice. Oh, nicely. you need to get a paper towel. Yeah, a little plate and a paper towel for them. Get a plate and a paper towel so you put them on there. And so we're ready them. when you come Let out. Them dry out so they're all good and ready. We're just going to layer the top. When it, uh, when it gets all full, just uh, do another batch. Start another batch in a little bit. There you go. Flipperoni. Flipperoni. Uh -huh. I just, uh, just made it up. Because <laughs> it sounded so cool. Yeah, I don't know. It just came to my, my little brain. Alright, this is bubbling up just nicely. Oh my god, I have water over here too. I just I got you a water. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Right. That's the kind of cooking buddy I am. I'm telling you right now. 
All right, we're just watching these, just getting a good color on them. They'll they'll get nice and crispy. Crank the heat just a little bit. Last night we made southwestern egg rolls. Tonight we are doing uh, just Asian egg rolls that you dip in soy sauce. And yeah, and then we're gonna and we're making uh, tostadas, little uh, uh, personal tostadas. Yeah. We're doing an Asian dish, and um, right? Yep. One Asian dish. And then a couple of Mexican. A couple of Mexicans. Uh, she went down in temp. Yes, uh, Lisa, that was pork that I browned earlier that I put the cabbage into. You can do chicken. You can do uh, even like the chicken thighs, boneless, skinless thighs. Put it on your pan, put it on your uh, cutting board, and then just. Um, like say this is your chicken, let's say this is your chicken thigh. Oh, they can't see. Oh, okay. You just cut it and then get your, your knife and just keep going like that and it will make your pieces of your chicken smaller and smaller and smaller. You keep the tip of your knife with your hand on it and you're only lifting up the back and you're going in that motion. And you do that with onion, you do that with... Uh, your chicken, you do it with anything that you're trying to get smaller and smaller and smaller. You're basically making your chopped items to a minced. But we're not doing chicken today. No, she was asking. Yeah. We'll do chicken later. All right. You have to watch the video. The, ch the stuffed mushrooms were good. Joe thinks that it could use a little more cheese, so poof, go put more oh, yeah. cheese. Crispy little... Two hickeys. There we go. Just got a little bit of color on them. You don't need much. But if you don't do them long enough, they're they'll not going to be crunchy. They'll be chewy. Yeah, you don't want so them chewy. You, you, you want to make sure you... There's no overcooking it. Let me put it like that. Yeah. You cannot overcook a um, tortilla chip. It basically... You can. They can get pretty brown. <laughs> they, can, they can get pretty... Pretty gnarly, gnarly yeah. But uh, we are not going gnarly today we're going just right <laughs> we're, going, we're, going, we're going just right that's right it sounds like so goldilocks baby it's just, just right. right we're goldilocks in it all right next batch we're at 352 on the oil canola oil 350, or guys when you're making the chips yep about 350. And it's just tortillas. Oh, we need salt on them, baby. Oh, yeah. Hit them. Just a little bit because you're going to put uh, other food on it that's going to be already seasoned. Go. But you definitely don't want to miss out on the opportunity of having freshly... You want me to do it? Uh, zoom out so we can see that. We're, we're, they're not seeing us. All right, put there's your chips. beautiful chips. chips on there. Grab your salt and go over it. If you go higher up, it distributes it evenly. All right, this is where they go in. This is where they come out. Woo. Tell me about it. If anybody wants me to try one, let me know in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be willing to do it for y'all. <laughs> you, I want to give you guys what you want. That is so my wife. Hey, Diz. Eat it, Jilly said eat it. Eat it, go for it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm taking the pretty one, Jilly. This is for you, girl. Listen. Oh, yeah. Act chip. Jilly, I wouldn't have done it if you didn't ask me to, girl. Oh, where's some homemade salsa mm. when you need it? Y'all. Where's, where's a Mexican when you need her? <laughs> mm, that sounds mean. Well. <laughs> well. Uh -huh. Jilly's like, eat it. I'm like, say less. Here I come. Holy moly. I am like flipping these one-handed and I'm holding a plate in the other like I'm a pro. So I'm She just... said, Joe, you can finish it. There you go. She already ate. Oh, you know she didn't Now I saved you something. I did not say I am. I dare to be different. <laughs> I live on the edge. Mm, so good. I'm this glad you can make it in, Dizzo. Put some hearts in the, the chat for Dizzo if you guys could. A little salt. Okay, going above. 
up and above. It distributes evenly compared to doing it down below. One more that's done. All right. All right. We've got a few more. We'll be done with these babies. And you know what? I didn't think about. We have to wrap those. I can't fry them yet. We're yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's okay. I'll I'll do the. You gonna wrap right now? Um. Yeah, I'll finish this and then we'll start wrapping those. Can we, we and... bring it up here so you can do it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. So apparently I'm doing it. Ah, I don't know how. <laughs> no. Uh. So we got these ready for our tostadas. And then we're going to oh God, um, get so our egg rolls wrapped. So we're switching out to egg rolls for a minute. Or do you want me to finish that? And while you wrap us few. All right. And then it's you only can takes just a couple, it's only a couple seconds, man. Wrap like three or four, and then we'll show one or two to show them how to wrap it. You All know right. what I mean? Yeah. These are so done. then I'll finish this. These are done. We can take the heat off of here or whatever for now. Take the heat off. <laughs> All right. Oops. Leave no chip behind. Nobody. Holy moly. Don't, no salt. Don't you dare do it. Right there. There you go. Just like she said. Oh, little baby chip. Oh, yeah. Baby chips are my favorite because they don't really count as calories. Because <laughs> they're not full grown. All right. So I'm going to roll these uh, yep. in front of everybody. Nope. You're going to do three of them separately and then show two of them. So when you do it, you know what I mean? But that All way right. you can fry a few of them. All right. I'm going to show you guys this. These that Joe made are your little chips. If you guys want. Right, sit for a yes, so. please sit. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, where am I? Right. Who am I? Sitting down. Where am I going? Oh. Okay. This is just, this is just refried. I just can't do this. He doesn't like me doing these um, shells with the oil because my hands will not hold. Uh, I don't want to say they won't. My hands are not consistently... Um, good so if by they spring open the chip well a couple of things have fallen in the grease and it splashes up so joe likes to do that part for me so i am not at risk because he's a little protective kind of husband good night almighty A little uh, ramekin of water. There's there should be a ramekin left up there with nothing in it. Yeah, I got you. No, I think I used a baby bay. It's okay. Don't say it's not so. It's so, baby. But I got you anyway. Right. There you go. All right, thank you. Yes. Okay, so um, you can either do the beans that we did the other day. The beans, and I made them refried. You guys saw the picture. You can do the beans that were in the big pot and mash them. Buy a can of pinto beans like this and put them in a pan and mash them up with your masher. These will turn into that. All you have to do is warm it up, smash them. That is going to be this bean right here. Okay? So... These are your bite-sized tostadas. I mean, these are appetizers. You're not feeding your family right now because I know nobody wants to do this whole thing for a family of four. But if you're taking an appetizer and you guys want to, I mean, look fancy-dancy, come on now. Then you get your... This is where I'm going to show you the importance of it having a little bit of gravy on it. That even if there's a little piece of meat... Um, you know what I want to do? Can you guys see that? Look at it's meat, beans. Okay, you can either serve it like that, or when it comes out, put fresh lettuce and tomato when you get to the house where you're taking it, or um, when you're going somewhere. This is the lettuce and tomato. I would personally put there so that way they don't get soggy. You know what I mean? You can make it like this because that's going to hold up. But if you put the lettuce and tomato, and if any part of that's warm, it's going to wilt your lettuce and tomato. Oh, of course. What my foil. My foil. No, no, no. I'll get it. Yeah? Yeah. Good at I'll keep working. Rolling something. 
Here's another bean. I'm just spreading out. Either you can use a spoon, the back of a spoon. Use a spoon. I have a mini spatula. Oil. Thank you, baby. Drop it. Ay, mira, que pasó? And you know what, y'all? Why not put a jalapeno on it? I can't see what you're doing, baby. I'll lift it in the air. Whoa. Look at Maybe that. a little Check jalapeno it on it. Check it out. When it comes out of the oven. Oh my out. gosh. Is that the parchment paper? Yeah. I'm going to do this so that way I can back you guys up. Don't let it fall, baby. This stand, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> Bro, I'm not I even lying. You, All right, I'm ready to admit it. Not that I'm wrong. I'm ready to admit that it's a bad stand. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go, y'all. I got you now. I got your number. Here's our beans. You're going to put your carne. That's what you say, it. Carne. 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 Do you know what it is when it's got gravy? Carne guisada. Guisada. See that? Carne guisada. And then you're going to put your queso. I know that. I mean, you probably need about 20 of them to put on a, a tray. But, I mean, imagine if you use if you made them, like, spent um, the morning, you did your tortilla shells, and then around 3 or 4, you go, you know what, we got to be at the house by, like, 6. So, around 4 o'clock, you start making these. When you get there, you put them in the oven. Like, you don't have to make it all right at the same time. That's, I mean, we wanted to make things because we do a lot of – taking things places so we are like well you know what i mean you can make it beforehand i'm just gonna do a few of them then i'm gonna show you the the simplicity of lettuce and tomato on top or just a, a jalapeno you can hey baby yes you run out of stuff to talk about i can See that? do a couple of these in front of y'all see that there's you can put a jalapeno on each one when it goes into the oven um I'm going to do a couple more, and then if you're ready, I'll start putting the oil back on. Yep. You want me to start warming in? Yes, ma'am. All right. And this is literally one tortilla, y'all. So, I mean, depending, I honestly think, well, Joe wanted to do it this size because it's bite size then. And it's like when you're at a dinner party, you grab one, you pop it in, you can keep talking to the people. Or at a Super Bowl. At a Super Bowl party. But if you only get the tortilla in half... It would be that size. I mean, see, that's cute too, right? A whole half, but then Joe's like, it's not bite size then. I mean, it's really not. He did have a koi, so. You're not admitting you're wrong. I'm not admitting I'm wrong. I was saying there's another option to this. Right. <laughs> Stop. And it's uh, hamburger meat. I put a little bit of garlic and I put onion in it but you can do just ground beef and put onion powder and garlic powder it just is for flavor i don't use the taco packet but ground beef taco packet let's say you buy it taco packet fry it up then you get a spoon put some flour on it sprinkle it over the top a little bit of flour you get your cup of warm water pour it in there that's gonna make it so that your hamburger meat doesn't crumble off and fall off onto off of it when you're spreading it out See that? Otherwise, see that little teeny piece of meat right there? That little teeny piece would have fallen off if it wasn't attached to the gravy that it's attached to. Just... I've got you, babe. Right now I'm doing it. All right. Okay, I am going to give you guys a little pointer because I'm all about pointers. If you just have this beans at home and this cheese... Throw that on the top of that bean dip, or on the top of your beans, throw that cheese in a pie shell, or pie pan, I mean, throw it in the oven, and you'll grab their tortilla chip and dip it into the, it's your dip bean and cheese dip. I'm telling you, it, it's just homemade beans. I don't know about refried. They probably don't taste as good with, with cheese and all that, but homemade beans with cheese. Okay, that's it for me, baby. All right. This can go in the oven when we're done with everything, but this is what we got going on. 
as of now, we made homemade tortilla shells. So you can either use those with the salsa that's on one of my shorts, or you can use this to put those little bite-sized tostadas. And Joe's gonna make a couple of the egg roll interior with the egg roll. You got some right. stuff together? Yeah, I got Ooh, it. very nice, my baby. Yeah. I'm I'm you know. Rolling it out. Okay, here we go. Check it out. What we're gonna do. Here's your water. All right, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. You can you back that up a little bit? Yep. Okay, all right. Five seconds. You know, my fingers are all. Yeah. Did <laughs> <laughs> you use too? It's okay. You use my apron. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Here's your, uh, not your egg rolls, but your spring rolls. That's what you want to get. They're in the freezer section. You can only, Those are the, the good ones oh, that are yeah. in the freezer section. I'm sorry I'm yelling. <laughs> you're excited. But uh, the spring rolls are in the, in the freezer section. And when you're, when you're making them, you got to keep them covered. Because if you keep that, that edge out in the, the, the air, hard. out in the oxygen, uh, they will get uh, a little hard on the edges. They dry out. Yeah, they dry out real quick. So we'll take these, and they're they're never perfectly square. So when you when you roll up your when you roll up your uh, um, your egg roll, it's because you go corner to corner with the egg rolls. So when you roll them up, it, it's always longer on one side and shorter on the other. So what I do is you just take them and put them in your fingers and just make them square. Just they're really pliable. So. Just take them, just make a square so they roll up nice and evenly on both sides. There you go. We're just using a plate here, using our uh, little spoon. I put everything up there. Uh, okay, I'll just use Did this. I not? Whatever that, um, this is, oh, this is fine. This is fine. So, um, Southern has talked to you guys a little bit about we are planning to do an exciting thing for our daughter. She's got one more semester. Um, she goes to, uh, oh, what, baby? Okay. She goes to Eat Los Loran University in Budapest, Hungary. Give me a second. Um, up above, she explained a little one bit second. about it. Um, but what we're doing is a 50-50 raffle. And what if you guys have ever been to softball games or uh, when you're at the school, uh, any kind of sporting event, they sell raffle tickets around. And when you get those, uh, at the end, say we gather two hundred dollars, we get fifty. You get fifty. Um, so ideally, our our daughter. I mean, she's we. She's got one more semester, and it does cost thirty thirty four hundred. The unfortunate thing is, it's uh, the euro dollars is all dependent on what it, the euro is at that time. So uh, if it's thirty one hundred or thirty three hundred, and the dollar is different than the chase, whatever chase charges us, so they charge us. So we basically tell them how much we need, and then they tell us the bottom of what it's going to cost us. So we are doing an interesting way to do it, which is a blessing to do it. We just had some, a couple people that offered some good ideas, um, and so Southern's got it in there that we. She's got a little bit of notations about it. If you guys have any more questions, um, and then we also wanted to do a. Uh, apron giveaway, but we're gonna first work worry about the 50 50 because it's a cool idea and I appreciate um, the person who came to us with it because um, I've always been one to do it like buy the tickets and now to actually have it for a good cause guys uh, It would be amazing. Actually, I want to do one of the cookings um, With our daughter live. Unfortunately, it's a seven-hour difference. So right now it's like 3 30 in the morning over there, but we're planning on doing it um relatively soon so we've done we've tested it out to make sure she can hop on youtube and going live together but ideally that's what we plan to do but i know that you guys saw it up above i just wanted to make sure i explained it instead of yeah, it yeah, just yeah. being up no no, no i'm just I'm, I'm saying keep going keep rolling yeah um so anyways oh let's show these what do you got oh. while joe sat there this is how many he made you guys <laughs> right. so he's going to show you how easy it is to do yeah because 
he made so, them that fast. Again, freezer section, you want the spring roll wrappers. Not the see-through ones that you get in the regular aisle. Those are for like the ones you don't cook. They're, they're, they're really white. But uh, these are in the freezer section. They're called spring rolls. And then you, when you're making them, just to uh, tell you again, keep them covered some way so they don't dry out and get hard on their edges. So, okay, here we go. And they don't ever come out the same, the right size. They're always like uh, like a tri or a uh, rectangle. So just stretch them out to a, a nice square. So when you wrap them up, because you're going uh, uh, corner to corner when you're when you wrap them, and then it's so it's nice and even on both sides. So when you uh, put your meat in, put put it right in the middle in a pile don't don't spread it out yet because once you fold it over and uh, start rolling it it'll spread itself out if you uh, try to spread it out before you roll it it'll kind of come out the ends and, and you'll have you'll be tucking it in all the time you're gonna tuck it in enough as it is so I just I just take it hold the one edge kind of pull it back on itself so to make a little little uh, tube and then just start rolling, and you roll. You can roll all the way up till you get to the corners, the long ends, and then just fold your corners in completely. And then you don't need anything other than water, so I'm just dipping my finger in water and do a large portion of this triangle here. You probably can't see that because the plate's white, but I got about a little triangle left. And then we'll just roll it right into it. You don't need cornstarch, slurry, or nothing like that. These things will stick right together just like that so that's all you need and then you just uh, do uh, several of them whatever you got uh, meat for and uh, your fixings and your innards so just again we're gonna make these nice and square so they roll up even on both sides that's a little bit not enough stretch out the other side and we got a nice little square take our filling Drop it right in the center. Make sure we got enough in there. You'll get used to how much you put in it. Yeah, no problem. And then uh, you, you'll you'll know if you get too much in there. You just kind of got to play it by ear. So keep it in a little pile first, and then fold it over, and then pull it to a tube, and then start rolling. Rolling, rolling. Little, fairly tight. You don't have to be super tight. But uh, just roll your, your fold your edges in, dip your fingers in a little water. You got that last huge triangle left, and just roll it out. And there you go. There's another one done. Just that simple. And then we'll be frying them up. We'll get the, our oil to the right temperature. Kind of spiked on me a little bit and got really, really hot. So we kind of turned it down a little bit. And now we're, now we got to go back up again because there's not a lot of oil in there. If there was a bunch of oil, if you're deep frying, it'll stay more stable in the temperature. But since we only got a little bit of, you know, you want more? half inch. Or are you good? No, no, no. You good? What, uh, oil? oil? Yeah. No, 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 that's fine. Okay. It's just, uh, you don't want to, I wouldn't put more in there just to deep fry them. But uh, just because I'm talking and, and uh, not paying attention, and uh, if I would have cut it sooner, we would have been a little bit uh, closer. But we're at uh, 300 right now, so just a half a minute, and we'll uh, we'll deep fry these little suckers, and we will be good to go. And then after I'm done here, then I am I doing my thing after that? Your bean dip. Yeah. That's all we have left. That's it. Yep. We're on our last stage. How's yeah. our how's our tostadas doing? They look great. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're not in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait to get those fried because oh, okay. <laughs> they only take a second to burn. All right. How do they look? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta still make do my roast beef, baby. Oh man. But yep. Holy moly. Holy moly. All right. So I'm gonna get those out of the way. I'm gonna get these over here. We'll just uh, slide that in there. So we're done making them for right now. Clean this little area up here so we don't freak everybody out with the mess. The spookiness of it all. Oh, oh, put it in there. Same stuff. All right. All right, we've got dead air. Dead air. Dead air. All right. Like mini tostadas. We're about 3.30. Yeah, buddy, that's what they are. So I'm going to start putting them in. And we just lay them in there. 
Ooh, some crema or Oh, they can't see, baby. Can you help me? Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, baby. All right. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. All right. What is that white thing, bruh? What is the oh, white thing? Oh, it's your egg roll. It's an egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you know it or not, but we're making we're making egg rolls today. I forgot. So that's what these white things are, honey. Wait, you know. How do you say egg rolls? In El Spanier. Oh, good question. Huevo Rolo. I don't know. Hey, I cook Mexican. I don't know. If I were to say that, you'd say I was racist. Oh my God. <laughs> I would never. Never. Would never. We'll fry up about uh, four of them right, right quick here. So, we'll get a little tongs. Sorry, baby. You're, you're fine. Why did I think that roast beef was only like $5? Mm -hmm. Issues here. What do you need, Daddy? With my little probe. I'm taking the probe out. Did Take you get it? it? Out. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hear the fuck. Oh, yeah. You need they're a paper? Getting, they're getting brown. You need something, baby, to put it on? Those look like three other ones, but. Oh, they do. They, yeah. they better not after all yeah. the work we went through. I think they are. They're not the right ones. Why, 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 why. These are like just freaking egg rolls. We've been looking for these spring roll wrappers yes. forever. No one ever has them. We, uh, we're going to actually try to get them from uh, Amazon, I think, because mm. we cannot find a, 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 an Asian store that carry, carries them. Or it's so disheartening for yeah. as much as we paid. Or a like, Walmart oh. or a Sam's Club. And nobody, nothing. Nobody has these stupid ones that we're looking for. Yeah. And these were in the freezer section, but they're That's uh, so sad. They're frying up like they're. I mean, we went uh, all the way to like to a whole new store. Yeah, I know. We went to like several stores it's for okay. over the last, you know, uh, okay. few weeks. But uh, anyways, they'll be good anyways. Your stupid spring roll wrappers. So. I'm telling you, we'll just fry them up and enjoy them. Oh, Miss Hunty we... came in. How you doing, Miss Hunty? We're just doing uh, soy for sauce for, in, for, for dipping. That's that's. Uh, well, we should have made it the hot chili, sweet chili pepper, sweet chili sauce or whatever. That would have been good. Yeah. But we'll. Uh, We'll just finish these up, fry them nice and nice and slow. They don't uh, you don't want them to go too fast because uh, you want to uh, we'll smash you want them, you want them warm. You, you're warming them up inside. You're warming them up inside. So if if the uh, your oil is too hot, then you're going to just um, you know crisp up the outside. And you might since you have to wait till it cool they cool down Ouch. before you actually roll them. Then they'll be a little bit cooler inside. You want them, you know, fairly warm inside. So I'm I'm cooking them at about anywhere from 330 to 350, and they're cooking up nice, nice and uh, slow, and uh, browning up nicely. Very nicely. Yeah. Very good. Getting crispy. Yes. I'm Getting so bummed crispy. out. All that work we went to, baby. I know. I know. It just it just bummed me out. Because the, the the wrappers that we're that we get usually, and th these are just as thin as those too. And uh, oh my word, we did not. Yeah, and that just it's just it's just bizarre. I'm not gonna even say nothing. See, about I mean, they they actually told us in the title, egg roll <laughs> and spring roll. They're going, you can use it for both. Yes. I'm trying to smoke one past the wrong guy. That's right. Ain't gonna well, cause they told us that this is the same thing as the. The other brand. This is called Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no. Sorry, no. No, thank you. Always trying to pull one over the white man. No, I'm kidding. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I, I, I would love to make a recipe book, Lisa. I really would. I have so many things I want to make. I, I, some part of me is like, like oh, nobody wants to know that and then other people are like oh my god i just made your rice this weekend and my niece um is up in michigan 
Ooh, look, look at how is. pretty. She said that she put the audio on on the way home. She was listening to our recording of it. We're going to cut these open later? Uh, yeah, and then these are going to go. All right, go. we'll cut these open. When we, when we get everything done, we're going to try everything. We have one last thing to do. Um, my so niece. Those are, those are the egg rolls. That's it. That's all you got to do. We don't need this anymore. Nope. We're, we're officially done. done with the all right. Awesome. She was saying that she played the audio and her niece, or her daughter, my niece, was listening to it. And every time that there was a joke or she was laughing, she said that she, her, her uh, daughter was having a great time with the, um, she was having a great time with the audio and she said that she, the kids were laughing the whole time which it's just cool that there's little kids cleaning up what's up baby said so i'm cleaning up i'm in front of the camera here oh, just yeah, let yeah. her know what i'm doing okay and we are going to make our final thing right now I know we've done like. You want to grab one of the medium sized pot so I can do the. Um, yeah. yeah. You want to put it? Oh, you can't. No, I can't. How about over here? Yes. Over there. <laughs> Just over there. With the petals. Wherever. It makes me nervous to do it with the babies over there. All right. We're going to put it right there here. Just get it out of our way. Yes. I'm sorry. It just makes me nervous. It's all right. We're all good. We're saving us. We're saving a pet today. So the final one is going to be probably the shortest one. We are going to do, um, I need a pot from doing? back there. Uh, what do you need? A pot. Pot? Yep. The mother, one of the smaller. Like this one? Um, yeah, perfect, baby. There you go. Pot. Yep. And then I'm going to put some hot water in there. You need hot water? I'll do it, Daddy. I got it right here. Okay, go for it. Water. Hot water. How much hot water? Um, what do you got? One of those yeah, blue cups? What do you need? Stop it. I think this is the one you use. So well, this is yucky. Here you go. Don't touch the Pour it in there, baby. Hot. Pour it in there, okay? Yep. So, this is our beef broth. You're so um, force. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> this is our beef broth, you guys. Kind of like that. Better than bouillon. I like it better, or the one, the jug you can use. I just like this. Is that good? Yep, because I'm going to put this in there. Oh, you know what? Put another one. If oh. you don't mind. Yep, I'm sorry. Okay. This is literally Sometimes just beef broth. Faces, babe. I know. This is literally just beef broth that I am going to put. Go you know, oh, my yeah. word. I am choosing to add a little bit of. Right, there you go. I put, I put some in there. I didn't want to put all of it. Okay. A little bit of garlic powder. Not much, you guys. Because what I'm going to do with it, we're not going to use it. Okay, so other than to. What? It fell down a little bit. And we're going to back you up a little bit so we can see your pretty face. Oh, come on now. You know where the garlic or the onion is, baby? Oh, the, onion? Oh, the other ones I think we did. Right up there. Grazie, grazie. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you have a cutting board, that'd be perfect. Cutting board. You got it. You use mine. Thank you. So I got my stove going on medium high and I am I have beef broth in there with a little bit of garlic powder. That's it. That's literally all that's in here. Tablespoon beef broth. It's just beef broth. And um, you know what? What do you need? A plate so I can put the things on. A plate? Like yes. a real plate? Yeah, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Right. Okay, I am, here's my onion. Putting it in there. It's gonna hang out for a minute. That's it. Just onion floating in there. And then when we put those in the oven, we'll put it all in together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll scoot it over so I can put two buns. 
Here's your hot dog. I'm using hot dog buns because it's the size that I want it to be. Okay, guys? This is the size that I want for what I'm making. You, If, if this was a dinner at home because we've had it for dinner, then you use just a hoagie bun and you cut it open, warm it up. Joe likes his grilled because he just likes some extra. Crank this up, baby. Yep. So here's my buns. And I, this is the size I want. You'll see why. Because, again, these are appetizers for a Super Bowl that you're taking a platter. Okay. It should be... No, it's not up here. Ay, Dios. How about... Ay, ay, ay. Did we start the candle on the table, maybe? Did we? Ay, mira, que pasó, no? No. Uh, let me go see if I can drum up a Zippo. Uh-oh, baby. I'm sorry. <whistles> I wish I could see I knew where it is. Okay. Oh. The easiest ever... Even if you do this for dinner, you guys... Dinner. Let's pretend dinner. Okay, here's my hot dog buns. Pretend these are hokey buns. Okay? This is just you and your kids or you and your husband are having dinner. Okay? Or Super Bowl. Or Super Bowl. I'm making mini bite-sized ones. Okay, here's my pork. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> here's my roast beef. I sometimes buy rare because I love rare. Okay? But I'm going to show you the important. doesn't matter what if it's shaved or sliced or whatever. Okay, guys, I'm going to grab my roast beef. That's it, just my roast beef. Tongs, dropping it in there. That's it, I just dropped it into my... Okay, guys. I shake a little bit of the water off because I don't want my buns wet. Then I bring it over here. I know, Jilly, this is a disgrace for your guys' cheese, Philly cheese or uh, cheesesteak, but these aren't the Philly cheesesteaks. These are just like a Jersey Mike's cheesesteak. How about that? I know we're, we're, we're making a disgrace for one of my girls living over there. Please forgive me, Jilly. Just roast beef. It's just a, I don't know, it says select. Um, I think it goes boar's head roast beef. Did you get it, baby? No, I'm going to have to improvise. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I don't have uh, the Zippo fluid is old and will not catch. Did you try over here? That's all right. I'll, uh. I'll do it the old school way, baby. Mm. I think we got, do we have matches up top? Yes, we do have matches. Yeah. A whole box of them. <laughs> Hello, Ivan. Old school. RV living, baby. Here's onions in it. And again, put what, like, if you're making it for oh, just yeah. you and your husband, if you're making them for you guys, because you're going to, it's going to go like this. So you want to just make sure you have, I would say I'm going to put a little bit more just so that way it's full. I like a full one. I like the appearance. Uh, whenever I'm going to serve it to Joe, I want it. And the only reason I'm putting it in here, the only reason I'm putting it in my liquid is because I want it to get warmed up. So what I do with it next is go into the broiler to toast my cheese. Do you have a spot for me on that cookie sheet? Oh, perfect. Thank yes, you, baby. I do. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And you can do mushrooms in the water. Do... Onions and mushrooms. I've we've done them both. Um, Looking good, man. You guys, when you see it, you're gonna be like, "What? No." Okay, yeah, for Rizzo. Oh, we didn't toast them up. We don't need to. Right? No, I know you. I was just telling him you love it toasted. I do not. All right. Here's your provolone. A one and I get it from the deli section so that way I'm able to not have the thick slices of provolone a little more control yeah there you go uh, let me do one more and for me it's all about appearance I want when I take something there to, to look bomb I want it to look ridiculous I want it to be like what you tell them to get it shaved yep 
I told him to get. Mm -hmm. You want to bring the cookie sheet over? Yes, ma'am. Grazie. Cookie sheet, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And we're going to throw it all in there on broil. Oh, you already got it going. Yeah. Cut it out, you. I'm your cooking buddy. <laughs> You're crazy. Wait, I got one more piece I got to put in there. Because I wanted to add one more little piece. All right. And then you save that as Jewish stuff. Yes. Well, if that's if you want. I was going to tell them that when it comes out. Yeah. I want that one to have a little more. Okay. And we're broiling. Broiling, guys. We're Just broiling. Broiling to melt the cheese for those guys. Cheese steaks. And then bite-sized nachos or bite-sized tostadas. Yeah, baby. We are on the home stretch, y'all. Oh, that feels good on the back, right? I'm like, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> okay, so when it comes out, you guys, it's gonna come out looking like a cheesesteak, like this. You yeah. have two things you can do: just eat it like that on the side of fries. Pickle. Pickle's yeah. got to go on everything. You don't always have to have a big, huge sub bun. Or you can grab it and get a little cup like this. And you're going to grab some of that aw juice and put it in there. And you can dip your French dip. French, it can dump, dip your cheesesteak into it. And it's just like a, a, whole, a quick version. Look at how quick that was, you guys, of a French dip. You going to do your thing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bean dip. Well, that's in there, and I'll be putting things away while right. you do that, baby. All right. Here, let me uh, get the plate out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean up for you guys. Order. I hope it wasn't so confusing for you the last, just last night and tonight are the only nights that we did a bunch of things that we're trying to, like, not confuse you guys with. But at the same time, we want to give you guys an option to have, hey, let's make that. You know, my, I saw this. Let's try that tonight and for tomorrow when everybody comes over, like, that's all we're trying to do, and I, I'm going to apologize beforehand if it was too much for some people with who have OCD, or you know, I, I have OCD also, and I get, like, discombobulated with my brain. So when I actually put stuff, like, set stuff up, it's actually for myself as well. Um, do you want to bring the whole ninja? Yes. Okay. Come over. Do you want to get out of the kitchen, little girl? I'm not going to tell you again. I'm sorry. I'm not getting out of the kitchen. Don't call me a <laughs> I'm not a little girl. <laughs> I'm a big girl. <laughs> I'm a big girl now. Uh-oh, low battery. Just hit. <laughs> Close. There we go. <laughs> it was a low battery. Did they hear anything we said? or? I don't know. Probably. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't... Uh, Sorry guys, they had a little battery. Instructional or inspirational, okay? So here we go. We got our ninja. What we're gonna we're what we're making is uh Yes, we are Julie's going to sending make. us a cheesesteak. Oh yeah. We don't believe how do you, how does that work? the best ones. We gotta see it. How does this work? That's, can I help you? Oh, uh, it's alright. I can it won't get uh, I'm trying to get it to zoom out. Zoom back out. But that's all right. Oh, that's here we nice, go. Miss Hunty. That's I appreciate that, you guys. I really All right. Do. We're going to make bean dip. The bean dip, like a free dip. This is our copycat Tuesday stuff. And uh, we're going to make the uh, Frito-Lay bean dip. Yeah. Or uh, thereabouts. And what you do is just get a can of pinto beans. And then you just drain them. And then we dump them in. Let me pick it up. It's right there. It's all hey, right there. Hey, who's that guy? Hey. <laughs> That's it, you guys. All right. Okay. You want me to zoom in now? You're good. You're, okay. No, no zooming. No zooming. Okay. We're good. All right. And then what I got in here, so you got one can, uh, what is it, 15 ounces of uh, pinto beans. And then in this little ramekin, we have a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of sugar, mm -hmm. a quarter teaspoon or thereabouts of onion powder, and then a about an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then another eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, and probably a little bit less. It's not too much in there. And then I just uh, dump this in with it. So we know it by heart because seasons. he makes it all the time. All right, all that's in there. And then what you need 
also is pickled jalapenos, and you only need to use about three or four of them, okay? If they're big, use three. If they're small, use four. And then you just dump those in there. Mm -hmm. doink. And then you, you need about a like tablespoon of the jalapeno juice goes in with it. So we're going <sighs> to... And I would go light on that, you know, use a little bit less just when you're starting out, just in case you get, you don't want it too, uh, just to make sure it's not too hot. Well, not too hot, but not too, uh, watery. Either. Oh, oh, okay. You know, so, uh, where's my little arrow? There we go. All and right. you can use, if you don't have a ninja, you can use, um, what else do we use? A blender? Just a regular blender. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, that's all this is just regular blender, but. That's all you need. I mean, you do need a blender. It's kind of hard to make this without a blender because you need to make it really smooth. So, here we go. We're going to blend. Oh, and we're not blending. Power. How about that? <laughs> that'll, that'll work. Kelly, thank you so much for the cash right. app. Thank you so much, guys. All right, you're going to lose this for a little bit because it's going to be loud. Not too loud. Please. Um, I'm just gonna force some of this uh, stuff that a uh, few beans that didn't get it that got splashed immediately up top. And the important thing is it may look a little bit, I would say, runnier than what it. Right. But it, it, it just needs to go in the refrigerator. Yeah, for about an hour. You you want to put this in the refrigerator for about an hour before you serve it, so it thickens up a little bit. And if you guys don't know which bean dip, it's the one you pull the tab on by the chip section. Yeah. It's like in the Tostitos yep. little area there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's free so, life. It's yeah. <laughs> Not a beard. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or kerplunk. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, and, you sounded too excited to do that. Yeah. Like, it's not a beer. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're going to, we're going to. All good, yeah. All good in the neighborhood, man. All right, here we go. So for your next, your next gathering, you only need to like it's like four dollars for that little container, and you're yeah, gonna buy, the free to lay stuff is like yes, four bucks. Yeah, you're gonna go to Sam's and pick up the bag of chips. Go to Myers, go to uh, Kroger, and pick up just your can of your. I'm sorry. You're right. Your can of your um, your can of Pintos. Yep. And for two dollars and fifty cents, you're gonna have, God, it's a gob of it. You want to watch that for me? This up here. Wait, what? Can you see anything? Can me drop you? Anything below this? Yeah, drop me. Yeah. And drop it like it's, you know, you know the rest. Joe, I'm dead. All right. Whoop. I mean, really, if it, it, it just start out with like one time making it and go, oh my God, can you taste the difference, babe? I don't even think if, you got two fifty in this. No, because it's only one can yeah. of Pinto, and our can is like 79 cents. Yeah. So 79 cents for a can of H-E-B Pinto and, beans. And a little bit of the herbs and spices you got around the yep. house. Probably just, just spices, I mean. But there you go. I mean, imagine you making it at home, and all you had to pick up was your corn chips. I mean, this time of the year, I'm from the Midwest. We always have Pinto beans, or because uh, I put beans in my chili. You want a little chip in? Boom. Look at that. I get you We're going to try it. Oh, shite. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, right. I love it like that. I know you do. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a close one. That was a close one. Let's get everything so we can. And you guys, we still forget to take pictures. I know. Okay. Let's do. All right. We, we got it out just in time. Just in time. Just in time. I okay. like a little. 
a little bit of uh, toasted uh, cheese. Toasted cheese, man. I That's know. Always good. But the reason we're making uh, finger food. Plate right behind you where the egg rolls. Yeah. I uh, where's the set serrated knife? Now everybody can grab their own little sandwich. Now everybody's gonna have their own French dip, baby, or uh, whatever one, you want to call it. I mean, you can dip it in your au jus. Yeah. You can just have a bite-sized cheesesteak. And you have to you have to probably spruce up the au jus a little bit with some Worcestershire and. You have a jalapeno, you know. baby. Do I? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I was gonna make what? it pretty it up. Okay. I got one here, Dad. Oh, you got one. Yep. Oh, you're gonna put it on the. Not uh, everything put on, it there. on there. Put one on there. Ay, que mira. Yeah. Oh, uh, you need oh do your chips. No, no, no. The you, get chip, you get the chips. I'll get a jalapeno to put on the top of my bean dip. Okay. To make it look oh, all fainted. All purified. Okay. You guys, you tonight go. we did bite-sized tostadas. Then there they are. Bite-sized tostadas. Ooh, Oops. Okay. Bite-sized tostadas. Let me back them up. Oh yeah, uh, I think they were, we're backed up as much as we can. So anyways, what do you call them? Uh, tostadas, bite-sized tostadas. And then we've got- uh, Homemade egg rolls. Homemade egg rolls. Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. Uh, and homemade. then homemade- Bean dip. Frito-Lay bean dip. Woo! Copycat Tuesday on Done a Saturday. It. That's right, guys. Hey, guys, hope you have- She put chips in there, they look so pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. Hope you guys have a great Super Bowl tomorrow. Go Cowboys! All right, hey, let's back up. We got to see us. Um, it's eye candy time. Oh yeah, we got a tink. Yeah. Woo -woo. We got to eat this stuff, man. All right, come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Come on. All right. All right, let's. Should we do one okay. of these? Uh, yeah, soy sauce. We need a little bit of soy sauce. Right in the door. Soy. 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 All right. Ready? Let's uh. You got one cut open so they can see inside? At the egg roll? Yup. Yep, right there. Right on top. Right. Good deal. All right. Here egg roll. A little soy sauce. That's all you need. Ready? Tink. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Joey. That is so good. Mm, it's good, you guys. It'll make you cuss. It's so good. <laughs> I swear. That's not funny. Mm. That's good. That's good. I don't want to talk with food in my mouth. Mm. I'll do it for you, babe. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, next next up. Come on. There you go. Take it off the plate. There we go. Next up. Next up. Oh, wait. Let's take a picture. How about that, y'all? Oh, shit. No. Joe. Somebody take, take a picture of that. <laughs> and send it to me. Come on. Well, our, our camera's not so good, baby. I know. Boom. Just oh. kidding. <laughs> one more. Work with me. Work with me. Yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ladies, here okay. we go, ladies. Ladies and gents. Okay, this is our individualized tostadas. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm losing my equilibrium. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Might not find it again. Tink. Tink. Mm. That's a tostada, baby. That's good. That's a tostada. For me, personally. It's really good. My own. We have homemade one. chile. Oh, man. All right. The one I made on Sunday, you guys. All right, next. Mm, God, I make one yogurt. Holy moly. I want to dip mine in a little au jus before we... Mm. I shall. Before we do an official tank. Mmm. Okay, guys. This stuff's good, man. We gotta try these babies next. Our little, they look, they're, what do you call them? Uh, Cheesesteaks. Cheesesteaks. You can either take them someplace house, but make them at home. Here's some of the au jus. All right, ready to go. You go first. A little French dip-ish type action. Yes. Tink. Mmm, mm, that's good. That's pretty good. Oh, we're, not being, the we're not being a real au jus, mm. you know? It's not bad. That's it. Mm. Bean dip. Yeah. I would make real au jus 
-hmm. But this is pretty good. I mean, just just the beef broth itself. Okay, let's do the final. Mm. Bean dip. Oh yeah. Joe. I'm already full. <laughs> no. Holy moly. Uh, homemade chips and homemade bean dip. Mm-hmm. And it was all like, what did we do? An eighty, like an hour and twenty minutes. For all these appetizers. Yay. All right. You want a jalapeno on yours? Oh sure. Get on there. Push it on there for me. Okay. Tink. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, I just did it over the book. Mm. Oh, awesome. mm -hmm. mm. Not bad. I think you're good with that. Not bad. Because you're used to corn chips. Mm hmm. Mmm. It's good, you That's guys. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You guys are amazing. It's close to the Frito Lay. It's close. Mm hmm. Not perfect, but it's close. I think it tastes great. You're it just, tastes great. You're your own critic. Yeah, I know. But that's okay. Have a great Super Bowl, y'all. We'll see you guys. Lie. We're not going to do anything tomorrow because we're going to spend some time with mm. with uh, family. Um, football season is really tough. I miss my dad even more, so it's always a tough one. Thank you, Miss Auntie, for coming in. All Thanks, the news, guys. all the olds, everybody. Thank you. Oh, baby, up? come on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, honey. Hurts the back. Hurts the back. <laughs> you know, honey. Okay. You're like, can I? All right, there we go. That's a little better. Mm-hmm. A soda pop. I love it. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you again for giving us a chance. We're, give us ideas. Oh, we're making fideo. I believe Southern Charm wanted us to be, um, I think Southern Charm wanted us to make what? Oh, my shirt. What, baby? Make sure that's up. Right. You guys, don't mind my shirt. Because look at my baby. You want to introduce her? Um, Novi, come, come on, Mom. Come here, Novi. Um, I got it at the Texas State Fair, uh, Southern. I got it uh, last year. We went to the Texas State Farm, and I saw it up there, or Texas State Fair, and I saw it up there, and I was like, oh, my God, I got to have it. And so, sit down, Mama. Sit. Go. Good baby. See, there's Mama's little precious. Uh -huh. She's Mama's precious. You want to come down, baby? Come. Come here, come here, come here baby. Come Come down, baby. Come over here. Right there. Sit. And sit. Everybody sit. I know you guys both want mama's attention. She's she's our needy she's one. She's our Lagrati. She's she needs love. It's okay because she protected our daughter when our daughter had a mishap in Arizona. So Nova's my uh third child and Bailey is our protector. Yeah. Anyways, um you guys we're making fideo next week. Homemade macaroni and cheese. Um we're making uh shepherd's pie next week. Um, we're making, um, what's it called, babe? What's that? The Salisbury steak, but it's oh, yeah. in the slow cooker. So yeah, we're doing a slow cooker really dish next week. Easy um, and good. Yeah, it's super good. Um, uh, what else did I say? Heck, mm. homemade macaroni and cheese, smothered pork chops. Oh, yeah. Smothered pork chops, macaroni and cheese. Um, I, do you guys want to know how to make potato salad, macaroni salad? Somebody asked for fideo, so I'm doing fideo coming up. Um, I got the stuff already. If anybody, but we're not doing the the three or four at no, a time. No, we're only doing one meal ever again. Well, it's only because we the Super Bowl was we didn't realize we didn't do only one or two yeah. appetizers. If you guys are grocery shopping, this is what I'm gonna make coming up next week. But if you guys are shopping over the weekend or Sunday, a lot of people grocery shop. Grab one of these. Hey, meal. Mm. Oh, baby Nova. Drew is in here. Oh, cool. My son, it was his dog, and um, my son was very, right. very gracious to allow us to have him. Drew, look at what we made. We made egg rolls, cheesesteaks, hand, uh, hand tos what do we call it? Bite-sized tostadas, yeah. and then the Frito dip with homemade chips. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, Arnova was my son's, and he's the one that paid the big dollars for her. And then uh, we just didn't. He started working heavy. Yeah, he allowed us. Oh, yeah, homemade macaroni and cheese we're going to make. Um, what else, baby? I don't know. Smothered pork chops. Um, shepherd's pie. pie. Mm. Um, I didn't do that one. <laughs> I don't remember that one. You're like, we <laughs> are? <laughs> when are we doing that? <laughs> um, okay, so, I, and then fideo because somebody wanted fideo. Um, but again, give us some ideas, you guys. We're more than welcomed. We're more than welcome to what you guys. Because <laughs> it's so far down. 
we will we will make a new dish um we'll make something if you guys have an idea for us to make it we're more than happy to, to make something yeah. um let me see if there's any questions because last night i looked at it after no. everybody left and i felt horrible and i haven't been doing my job either um, we've been too busy i can't read all the all the stuff we're okay yeah. let's if anybody has questions uh, Baby Nova, yes. Fideo is your jam. Yeah, somebody asked for me some bacon. I don't know okay. who. You guys, Homemade macaroni and cheese. Hey, Mom. Mijo is in here, Mom. Get up. Um, thank Get up. you, guys. Um, Hurry up. I love Get you up. guys all. I love all. I, I can't even express to you enough. Uh, today was my dad's birthday, and my days are a little tough missing my dad. Um, unfortunately, I'm in between because my brother's anniversary is coming up. So they're all a little bit, um, my holidays are just tough and my their anniversaries are tough. So I had some great time having some new connections on YouTube. So it's there if you want the, the friendships, you just have to be careful. We were blessed to find some beautiful, or for me, I was blessed to find some beautiful women in my life. Um, so I just want to thank you guys all, Move it. all of you guys. Um, Again, uh, you guys, just enjoy your family time today. Enjoy your family in general. Enjoy your kids. They're only little for so long. And you guys, we do get along really good, and we're blessed for that. But it's marriage, oh. and it takes time. <laughs> it takes time. We love each other. But, I mean, marriages, you put in time. You put in time, and you have results. We love you, too. I love you guys. We actually are so grateful that you guys accept us so much. Um, you guys have a great weekend. Have yeah. a great holiday. I'm having a better time than I thought I would. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, because we love cooking. And he, he well, at first thought he was going to be a little more nervous being up here. Yeah. But he actually does really I'm not good. a people person, so. Yeah, he's a real shy. Not shy. He's more reserved, right? Yeah. Yeah. Reserved. Yeah. Versus shy. Yeah, I'm not shy. He's just reserved. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, I'm down here. She's home. Yeah, I just am usually up here are, um, with the energy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Energy level. I'm just like usually on a let's, you know what I mean? Like, she can talk to anybody. Yeah, when we're checking out or something. I mean, when I was talking to people just checking out, and I'm like, you gotta go to Mitt and Mama. Come, we have a cooking channel. And I just wanna just get the hell out yeah. of there. Joe, oh, yes, he does. Okay, guys, we love you guys. <laughs> have a great weekend. Um, I, I thank you again. Um, yeah. Be be safe, and I'll see everybody on Monday, y'all. Thank you. And for anybody who's made Cash App donations, thank you. We've had a blessing. Uh, one of my amazing women have come. And, uh, yeah, that's a good way to say it, Mom. He's not shy. He's just quiet. Mm -hmm. Um, for whoever's made donations or... personality. <laughs> anybody who's made <laughs> blessings, thank you. Um, uh, nosy. Thank you, you guys. I have a blessing coming tomorrow. I'll share it all on Monday when I when everybody's here. I'll open it then. So I love you all. Thank you all. Have a great uh, weekend. Yeah, don't forget, Go, we're gonna give, do a giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it on Monday. We talked a little bit up above. Go Cowboys! Next year's our year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lions. <laughs> Bye, guys. Lions.